Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my RPG Maker VS Ace script tutorials. And this should be part three. Part, I mean, episode three, part one. And we are going to be talking about um, the per ABS, which is made by F A L C A O. I don't know how you say his name. Falcao, Falco, Fal I don't know. Um, but this is the, um, in my opinion, the best ABS out there. It is also the second, um, most easy, um, most easiest ABS to set up and get going right away. Cause the first would be the Starfire Action System. Cause you, that's little to do to actually set it up and get going. But this one, you do have to do a little bit of tweaking to make your weapons and stuff like that. So in this first part, I'm going to be going over um, setting up your RPG Maker VS Ace game to be able to um, run this um, script and stuff like that without running into any errors when starting up the game. So the first thing we're going to do before we actually even get the scripts and everything like that, we are going to be copying over some graphics over to our folder on the left and the, the main, <laughs> excuse me, the main per ABS Liquid 2 version, two, I mean, yeah, Liquid 2 is on the right and my game is on the left. So I'm going to be copying over the files from the right to the left to set up our games. And I'm going to tell you the files that you need. <clears throat> Let me go back in details. So starting off, let's go to animation. This one you don't really need, <clears throat> but I recommend getting it. So just copy this grass animation, copy it over. Don't move it. Keep your game folder, um, the main folder intact because you might want to go back to it to reference from it. Um... Okay, battle bags no, battle bags two no, battlers we don't need characters. Most important, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to large so I can see what I'm doing. I'm holding control on my keyboard. You don't have to, you could copy it any way you want, but it's just how I prefer copying stuff. Let me actually see which. Okay, um, I'm holding control. You do need the arrow. You need the, you don't need them because you could definitely make your own. But I just recommend these are the stuff that I'm recommending you move. And I'll tell you the ones that you must move. But these ones right here is the ones that I recommend that you move. Arrow, X, bazooka, bazooka, bazooka. It's a bazooka. Um bomb, boomerang, bow, clave. Fall hammer, fire, fire big. Again, you can make your own graphics, but if you want to use the pre-made graphics, these are the ones you will need. Flamethrower, hookshot, laser, laser gun, mazo, missile, and a navaja. I don't know what that is. Orb. And you don't need the um per mo model. You don't need those, but those are for if you want to go ahead and make your own. I mean, those will be the template to take to make your own weapons that you use over there. But most of these stuff that we're copying, we're not going to use. But we're going to, well, I'm not going to use, but I'm copying it for reference and stuff like that. Okay. Pull, pull, pull arm. I don't even know how you say that. Shield. Um, we don't the shotgun one. We're gonna skip because we're gonna copy it over from my other file because I made it look more realistic than the one that's actually here. Skull. We don't need the staff sword one. Vala web. Actually, we don't need the web and wind. Okay, that's all the files we're gonna be needing for the grab from the characters set. Just go ahead and copy those over. And before we actually continue, I want to go ahead and copy one more thing, which is a shotgun. Let me. Kind of have to find. As you can see, I do have them all in my game, although I don't use most of them. These ones I did make the um ice. I made that myself. The lightning, which is just this colored differently. But I didn't make it. Um, we are looking for the shotgun too. So what I did with the shotgun is I made it different <clears throat> than the regular shotgun. So that way it will be able to move 
as you can see, when I'm shooting the gun, it's actually like moving like a real gun instead of like not a real gun because when you shoot this one, it just stands still and nothing moves. And this one is just a gun that I made for the pistols. I'm going to copy both of these over to here. Now we can close this. Don't close the Pro ABS one because we are going to need a few more things. Let me change this back to detail. Faces, nope. Parallax, no pictures, yes. So, gonna go to, ah, oh, damn it, I closed it. I didn't mean to close it. Um, okay, these are the things you're gonna need to copy from the, well, you need to copy everything from the picture to your game folder. So, mm, yep, you're gonna need to copy all of these. Mainly the actor bag, and then I'm actually gonna use the default ones right now. So the actor back PNG, actor HP, actor MP, and then per skill bar. I'm gonna copy those. So those are the ones that you need from your game. I mean from the game folder, but I'm actually not gonna be using that. I'm going to be using my own that I made, which look a lot looks a lot nicer than those ones. So let me go ahead and open that. Life in Mini Town, go back to graphics, go back to pictures. And that would be, again, I could have the option to use this or this, but I prefer this one over this one because this one looks a bit clunky. So, actor back, that's the default one. HP, that's the default one. Okay, that one. Or was it this one? Nope, it was that one. This one. Skill, 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 I believe is this one. And just go ahead and copy that. It's going to ask me to replace. Yes, replace. What am I not replacing yet? A, B, A, H, P, A, M, P. What is this? M, P, M, P. Ha, ha. Oh, be okay, yeah, I know why. It's still going to be using these um default ones, but I'm going to change that later in the game. So, right now, we are essentially set. Let me see if we're missing anything. System, nope. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's basically how you will set up your game file to um, be able to run um, R I said RP to make a view. That's how you will set up your game file to run the per ABS Liquid 2. Check up on how many time I have. I have three minutes. So let's use that three minutes to install the script into our game. We're, I'm just going to go ahead and minimize all these windows since we don't need them anymore. We might be coming back to them later. But right now we don't need them. That We're going to need to open up our game on the left and then the script. I mean the main game folder for the per ABS on the right. Go to script in each of them. Scroll all the way down. Scroll all the way down. This is the script that I used in my last episode. Um, I'm actually going to. Hmm. I don't need these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them. Um, the BM I'm gonna keep because I do have another script that uses this, and I don't want to get rid of it right now. So insert. I'm gonna go ahead and make a. So it's always good to have these dashes to group sets of scales, I mean of scripts, so you know like which one is which. And you don't want to just have all your scripts and like jumbled up. You want to try to group them to be, well you don't have to, but it's nice. So copy every single one of these scripts from the prior documentation, pearl lag, and which one is this? Hmm. And the... Uh, um, okay, I'm gonna copy the main folders and then I'm gonna tell you guys about this last one. So, go ahead and copy this. Do not cut, keep everything intact on the fold on the main game folder. Don't um, change any settings because you do want to be you do want to go back to that for references. I mean, you could always re download it, but who wants to waste the time waiting for it to download while you could just have it right there? If you do want to make any changes to it, I suggest copying it, copying over everything and then changing the copy of it and keep an original always because you definitely want to go back for referencing. And I forgot what I was saying. My mom came into my room to tell me something. 
But anyways, copying over the skill. I mean the scripts. I keep on calling them skills. I don't know why. Just copying them over. All of them. Some of them are add-ons, but you kind of do need them. Like the anti-lag one, you don't need it, but just copy everything over. Especially, unless you have... Um, I, I do have an anti-lag in my game, and then I have this anti-lag. So I actually kind of have like two anti-lags working with me at the same time. It doesn't interfere with each other, but it might with some other ones. Um. Okay. Um. They... M and B V. What does that mean? It's something I just named um for convenience sake. Cause when I was copying it over, this does not actually come with the script when you download it. This I added on myself, and you could find it. Um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description also. But it's basically another add-on to this that allows you to use icon sets as um weapons that you could use and stuff like that. Because when the script was first released, you actually had to use you actually had to use you had to use these ones as graphics for your um for your game like if you want to if you wanted to have a sword then you had to make a sword following this um pattern following this pattern and everything and it was so confusing so i'm guessing he got a lot of complaints so he made a patch for it to allow you to use an icon set which is should have been there from the get go but uh, we are also going to copy this over because this is very important to the script. So go ahead and copy that over. I'm just going to cut this extra space. Cancel this. Don't press OK. OK. Let me make sure. OK. Now we are done. What we're going to need to do now is just jump into the game real quick. I'm expecting an error. I don't know why, but I'm expecting an error. Hmm. Okay, no errors, which is always good. Always good. Okay, and as you can see, the script is now installed. Oh, that's funny because I was moving around and I was expecting to move out. The script is now installed, and the next thing we need to do is basically start configuring stuff. As you can see, um, on the skill bar below, you will see the sword there. But when I'm pre I'm pressing A right now, and it's not working. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys why. I mean, that would be in the next episode and stuff like that. Well, um, that's it for this episode, I guess. We've set up the script. I mean, we've copied over the script and we set up all the game files to make the script work. Next episode, we are going to be um, looking at the script itself and tweaking it to our likings. And then we're going to start actually building on the script. I mean, building the battle system. And making that work basically so yep yeah, that's it for this episode thank you guys again for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time i release a new video make sure to like this video and if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts please leave your comments down below to let me know once again thank you